Hi guys. In this lesson, we will create our own layer shortcut commands. We will build upon the previous macros that we've created earlier. But first, let's examine how we usually uh, manipulate layers or how we work on layers every time we create new entities or we do some editing in, in the drawing. So usually if we are working on, let me just list down this, this is uh, this entity, this polyline is under layer walls. Okay. So currently we are in layer zero. So let's say we are working on the walls. We have to go through with the layer command and set the walls as the layer, current layer, and we close this one. Then we can start uh, typing our own command, for example. So this is under layer, wall, walls. Okay, this is good. However, there should be a faster way to do that. So if every time we work on uh, different objects and we have to go through here and change it accordingly, imagine if we have more than 50 or even hundreds of layers. We have to go through the list and navigate the proper layer name, then set it. Then that's just the time that we can start working in that layer. So we will use Autolisp to make our life easier, to be more productive, to issue the layer command more efficiently. For example, if we are working on walls, we can actually create a shortcut for that to make the walls as the current layer immediately. So let's say the fancy walls. Then we can issue the command layer set walls. Then enter. Okay. So if we save this one and let's say I'm closing this one first and open it back again just to load the updated file we have. So now currently we are under layer 0 and if I type in walls, now we are in the layer wall. Okay. Another shortcut command that we can use here is, let's say we want to set the walls as the current layer and, and at the same time freeze all the other layers except wall. So we can, we can do that as well. Let, let's say, call it uh, WF for example, walls freeze. You can name it uh, as any any name as you want that is more familiar to you or easier for you to remember in this example let's just name it as a WF so let's say command layer set walls then we are going to freeze all the other layers, asterisk, and enter. Okay, so now if I load this one, see, this my commands. And let's say, let's change it back to layer zero, for example, as the current layer. Close it, we're in the current layer zero. So if I issue my walls freeze command by the way did we save it? I don't think so 
it means to save it that's why it doesn't all right so now it's saved so let's just try loading it again now wf is here okay so we use the wf command there you go we have the current layer walls and we've frozen all the other layers except the current layer wall and now we can work on this however we want okay so now how can we turn them back on so what we do is we issue the layer again now they are all frozen except the walls which is the current so we either select them one one by one or select them at the same time and and thaw it okay but still we have to go through this dialogue and imagine if we have more than 100 layers we have to go through scroll down it's quite tedious so now why don't we just create another uh, shortcut another macro to thaw all the layers so let's say we create here define C layer thaw and then command layer then asterisk thaw asterisk and then enter okay save it don't forget to save it otherwise it won't take effect and then we have to load it back again so let's say we issue again the wall and freeze okay now we type LTH there you go so these these are very very useful commands you don't have to go through the dialogue and on off or though whatever you can do the same thing for let's say layer off or layer on let's say we create our layer on function or off you can name okay you can name this one however you want command layer off asterisk except the current layer okay so let's say we load this one again and we have walls as our current layer if I issue the layer off command and check this one check the layers they are all off okay except the current layers in the wall it's the current layer is on so we can create a layer on command for example command layer on asterisk okay save it and load it type the LON there you go <coughs> so that's just about it you can build upon the layer commands create your own shortcut based on your needs you can even let's say we have here the power what are these receptacles here they are under layer power so we can create let's say the fancy power command layer set power then enter save it and load it now we have here the power command so we type in power currently the current layer is wall walls if you type in power now we are under layer power so you can do the same thing if let's say you want to freeze or turn off everything except the power just follow this command here all right so that's about it for 
layer commands or layer shortcuts I mean or macros think of some other usage that you might have you might require then just keep building on these commands all right in the next video we will explore on inserting blocks commands I'll see you there